Welcome back, friends. In today's video, we are going to dive into the different types of views in SQL Server. Views are a powerful feature that allow us to organize and manipulate data in a more efficient way. Let's explore the various types of views and their functionalities. The first type we'll discuss is the simple view. A simple view retrieves data from one or more tables and can include aliases, expressions, and conditions. It acts as a virtual table that you can query like any other table. Let's assume we have a customers table with columns, customer underscore id, customer underscore name, email, and country. We want to create a simple view called VW underscore customers that only includes customers from the USA. In the example, we create the VW underscore customers view that retrieves the customer underscore id, customer underscore name, and email columns from the customers table, but only for customers located in the USA. This view acts as a filtered subset of the customers table, allowing you to query and retrieve data specific to customers in the USA. Next up, we have the indexed view. An indexed view is a view that has a clustered index created on it. It improves query performance by materializing the view's data into a physical structure. Let's consider sales table with columns product underscore ID quantity and price. We want to create an indexed view called VW underscore sales underscore summary that summarizes sales data by product. In the example, we create the VW underscore sales underscore summary view that calculates the total quantity and total sales for each product from the sales table. By including the with scheme binding clause, we ensure that the underlying schema of the tables referenced in the view remains unchanged. We then create a clustered index on the product underscore ID column to enhance the query performance when querying the view. Moving on, we have the partitioned view. This view combines data from multiple tables that have been horizontally partitioned into separate tables. It enables efficient querying of large datasets by organizing data across multiple tables. Suppose we have two tables, orders underscore 2021 and orders underscore 2022, which contain order information for the respective years. We want to create a partition view called VW underscore orders that combines data from both tables. In the example, we create the VW underscore orders view that retrieves the order underscore ID, order underscore date, and customer underscore name columns from both the orders underscore 2021 and orders underscore 2022 tables. The union all operator combines the results from both tables into a single view. This partition view allows us to query and analyze order data from multiple years as if it were a single table. Lastly, we have the materialized view. This type of view stores the results of a query as a physical table, improving query performance by pre-computing and persisting the query results. Let's see it in action. In our example, the MV underscore sales underscore summary materialized view calculates the total quantity and total sales for each product from the sales table. The view is created by executing a query on the sales table, grouping the data by product underscore ID, and calculating the total quantity and total sales. Now that we've explored the different types of views in SQL Server, please put forward an example while answering any question in any interview. If you found the video valuable, we encourage you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. By subscribing, you will stay updated with our latest uploads and never miss out on new content that can benefit you.